Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. Today we're in the Psalms. We're still in Psalm 119, and we're at verses 97 through 104. This is once again an acrostic. This is the M letter, or M, uh, from Hebrew. And uh, if you want, you can listen to the other ones before it. They all kind of have similar themes, but they all tell a story all together, too. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I've made more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. There's a flavor in this section of Psalm 119 is some action words uh, or some things that we do. If you kind of see that, uh, there's a number of ones that start with I in English. I do something. I have something with this. And also talking about how God's word, his Torah, that's the greater existence of his law. That means the first five books of the Pentateuch. Oftentimes the word law in English is the Torah in Hebrew. Also, too, it could be commandments specifically, like what we would say, the Ten Commandments. Sometimes we get those confused. But the author is saying that God's commandment, his Torah, his word, his testimonies, his narrowly focused even commandments for us, make us wise and make us wise uh, in the eyes of the world, too, to say, hey, this is a good thing, not only just for us as followers of God, as believers, but also for our world today and for our neighbors. Now, I think that's important, especially as we're in uh, political seasons and elections and voting for things. So oftentimes I've heard uh, the problem of Christianity saying, well, um, I believe in Jesus Christ, but I'm not going to live it for one, or I'm not going to vote that way, or I'm not going to tell others that this is a good thing. And so what we have is we have a divided, not united in God's words, and we're not really wise as the church by saying, well, we're going to do one thing and do another. We're kind of, that's the word hypocritical. We're of two minds for stuff. And this psalm is really saying that we shouldn't be hypocritical. We're all on one mind on God's word. And that structures our life. It gives us joy. It gives us the promises of God. It also gives us identity of who we are, not only as Christians, but also what is the best way of life for others. So the Ten Commandments are really ten identities. God's word is really a way of living uh, in what he's done for us and the gospel. It's not something we do to please God. God has already done everything in Christ for us, and now we do it as a response. So think about that uh, as you vote, as you talk to others, as you move with uh, maybe your public school teachers or friends or even going out to school of that nature is that God's word uh, is being transmitted through you to others around you. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.